Hi you guys. I know it has been a minute since you have seen us here on our channel. And you're probably wondering why I'm sitting here holding a picture of some of my family. Not all. Sean's not in there. Brother-in-law, a couple other people. But um, as of January the 15th of this year, three weeks ago almost now, one of these people are no longer with us, and it was one of the most precious and most important people in my lives, and that would be my dad. And this is, uh, I've tried to think of how I'm going to start this out and what I'm going to say for days now and I'm just going to roll with it because it's going to be hard no matter what it is hard but uh, right here my daddy he passed away on January the 15th so me and my sister headed to Florida and uh, I was down there for a week um, me and her with my mom and uh, I came home and my sister stayed and mom is back home now so happy about that just wish it was under other circumstances I wish it was because my dad retired and they got to come home like they had planned to but I'm not going to talk about what happened um, he didn't suffer so that gives me a little peace and it gives my mom some peace and my sister some peace he didn't suffer it was very unexpected it just happened and uh it hurts a lot it hurts a lot uh Today, I think, is Thursday, and this Sunday will make three weeks. And the last two and a half weeks have been just, I've never had loss like this in my life. You know, of course, I've lost my grandparents, and that hurts. And, you know, my father-in-law, some cousins, but, you know, I've never dealt with loss and grief on this scale. You know, my dad, my parents have... I'm gonna stay they have been married for 46 years and uh, yeah not only am I heartbroken because I miss my dad so much and just accepting that you know I'll never get another phone call or a text or a FaceTime but I'm also really hurting for my mom and my sister, my nieces and nephews, my kids. So, uh, if y'all don't mind, say a prayer for us. You know, my dad was, never gave up. And I am so thankful that is one of the traits that I took from him, I think even after my car accident, just watching him my entire life, you know, always getting up and doing what he had to do, never taking a day off work. Uh, you know, even after his parents passed and I've been sitting here feeling sorry for myself and, you know, it's time to get back to work and time to get back to living because that's exactly what dad would tell me to do and it's exactly what we have to do. Like I said, you guys, I'm, I don't even remember how I started this out already. I'm really going through the brain fog right now. But uh, we're back, and it's time to get back to work. But that was the life update that I'm sure all of you wondering where we had been and what was going on. Some of you that don't follow us on other apps that didn't know. Just been grieving and uh, dealing with it the best way I know how and I think to start the healing journey it's time to get up and move and move forward and I can already hear dad 
bud, are you at work? Are you working today? So, yes, I'm back to work. It was my dad's heart, and he didn't suffer, and it was fast, and I don't want anybody thinking he was in an accident or anything, you know, because he wasn't. It was a heart issue, and uh, he didn't suffer. And so, me and my sister got there in time to say our goodbyes and be with mom and dad in the room when he passed. So, that was a blessing to get to be there and be with mom and be with dad. So, mom is home, you guys. I know a lot of you are going to, like I said before, mom is home and uh, she is having a hard time. So, I'm glad she's here so me and my sister can help her when needed and be there for her and yeah but anyhow I love you guys very much you know I was able to take the two and a half weeks that I needed you know because you guys just by watching our videos have truly blessed us in this life and you know we appreciate that and I hope you guys continue watching and uh, I've decided I've been sitting here for weeks in my mind like I've had it on my mind for the last year it is time to make some health changes you guys know I've talked to you about it here and there time to make some lifestyle changes and this has motivated me more than ever of course I'm still grieving and I'm getting through this trying to get over that hump but this year is going to be a good year I am claiming that, I am saying that, I'm accepting that. It's going to be a good year for me and my family. That's what my dad would want, and that's what he would want to hear come out of my mouth. That is what would make him proud. But lifestyle changes are coming. Better food, getting out, exercising more like I used to. You know, back in the day, I worked out three or four times a week. And that was my life for many years. Of course, after my accident, that slowed down, but, you know, I got young kids. Me and Sean got young kids, and if we can add a couple years on to our lives by doing things better, eating better, being more proactive in our health and our lives, that's what we're going to do. And we're just going to take y'all right along with us. Hi, Daddy. What? Hi. What are Say you hi doing? Hi, y'all. Hello. Hi, y'all. So, one of these two varmints right here, and I know which one it was, <laughs> nearly burnt the house down. Daddy! <laughs> he decided it was a good oh, idea man. to throw a Hot Wheels inside the but fireplace. Yeah. Did you do it? Uh, you did. <laughs> well, we were sitting on the couch and Megan, like, you could smell plastic burning in the house, but then well, Megan... It's got that underneath part. I seen the fire drip down. Yeah. Right under here where all the controls are, you see I got them took out. All the wires is burnt. Like, this was all on fire. This was at 7 a.m., you guys. We were literally sitting here, like, still trying to wake up completely. Like, it could have got bad really fast. Luckily, Megan did see the fire. But... I'm gonna go buy a new one. I'm not gonna risk it like people were saying, I'll oh, just clean it out with a torch and stuff. With it burning everything, the plastic dripping down and burning on top of the joint right where the pilot was. If there was an old ring or anything in there and it melted, I'm just not willing to risk it. But luckily we did have a backup. Now that's a good thing. Right there, that little heater on the wall. Now granted, it's one of those infrared ones and it kind of warms the surfaces, but it doesn't warm the air. What are you doing, Tootsie Roll? I'm trying to be. Ain't you supposed to be in there cleaning your room? I'm being so happy and die. Are you okay? So I'm making my homemade vegetable soup tonight. I'm like 99.9% .9 positive. I've showed this recipe a couple times. I mean, it ain't nothing but some frozen vegetables, some fried sirloin, some beef broth, and tomato juice. 
You better go get that room clean. <laughs> we give him a haircut. And it was a... <laughs> bud, your hair's a little jack, bud. I'm digging them legs, honey. I'm literally in my gown. So, I'm digging them legs. Well, thanks. But this room, like... We just moved them in here and we hadn't had straps on the dresser until today and I put the straps on the dresser. They can do this. I, I'm telling you, five minutes is what it takes for ten. Ten minutes. I'll give them ten. And it's just like strung all the way to the living room. Chloe, did you do this? Yeah. I thought you did. You see, he's got a popsicle. We offered somebody else one, but she said, I want my suit. A good suit. This building that we never ever ever talk about. Would you like to see why we never talk about this building? Let me show you. I gotta fix this. This place is literally a mess. And I mean an actual disaster. But I've got to get this place cleaned up. Because you guys know for the longest time we said we're going to do our own garden and everything. But we got some really cool garden beds coming. These right here. I was going to build my own but I kind of priced them out and done the math. Even with rough lumber I'm going to come out a lot cheaper just doing this. Not to mention this is just. We'll say phase two of us. You know learning to garden. Learning to cam. We're going to do it on a bigger scale. You know last year we just. Messed around with some totes and everything to see if we can do it. We, we've done it, but I have not touched this building since the flood. I Honestly, I've just let it go. Uh, just kind of, you see, I uh, bring things in here and I just set it down. At one point in time, I had this really nice. I had a couple chairs up here. It's got a, you know, a good little electric heater. You can get this place warmed up really good, really fast. But everybody always wondered about this building and what this building was. And it's, uh, it's an old shed and it's split into two different pieces. And that piece over there, we just use that for our um, deep freeze. And this part, kind of like a little tool shop, you know, where we can keep our chainsaws and weed eaters and, you know, garden tools and things like that. But I've got a lot of cleaning to do because like I said, since the flood, man, y'all, that flood really kind of knocked us off our feet a lot as well. Just with everything that was going on, the fact we shut our business down for nearly two months, like it, it kind of knocked us off our feet in our, you know, our headspace as well. And not to mention everything that's just literally happened since like 2019. It ain't like we didn't, our world didn't get flipped upside down. We get through in the twilight zone, but I'll probably leave that for a podcast, which we're getting back. You know, I do believe Megan is allowed some bereavement time, you know, for her dad. I mean, everybody's allowed to grieve and I have blocked some people that's uh just made some comments that shouldn't have been made about the videos and how much we post. Listen, I'm not your dancing monkey. If you want to see us every day, go over to our Facebook. Because on Facebook, we are extremely active every single day. Not only on our Hillbillies page, but on my personal profile, uh, Sean Hammonds. On Megan's personal profile, Megan Hammonds. Like, we're active all day, every day. You know, short videos, uh... Sometimes we go live, a lot of pictures, you know, funny posts. Like, don't think that we're not out there every day because we're, we're out there every day, just not here on YouTube because YouTube does make it hard for us to get views, but that's neither here or there. You know, a lot of it's our fault because we're not the most consistent in the world, but you know what? When life happens, I'm going to take it as it rolls and not force nothing, but... What I gotta force myself to do right now is get this building cleaned up so we can start getting some plants going so we can, cause this is like the little nursery. This is where I start them out at. This is before we put them in the ground from the seed. Yeah, I buy some as plant, but some I, I'm gonna start out as myself from just a little seed up to a, on my dinner table. But let's get this cleaned up. So I ain't getting trapped in here again cause I literally just got trapped in here. I'm changing this doorknob. 
Good. Yeah, you going to come out of there again. I think I need a crowbar. Well, that wasn't ideal. Here we go. Da, 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 da. I'm thirsty. Gotta clean that floor up anyway. Noise. Like, is this necessary? I don't think this is necessary, so. Or do I? <laughs> no more getting locked in the building for me. There's a screw gun in here. Well, that wasn't ideal. Now the question is, will it shut and stay shut? Yeah! I'm break my neck getting in position. All right, so now that the doors took care of, I had to because you know I, I've got stuff like seven, you know, sitting around in here and uh, mold remover and disinfectant, you know, flower fertilizers, like things the kids really don't need access to. So I, I needed to make sure that door was locked. That was kind of what pushed me towards this when the door handle broke, and I was like, okay, we gotta. We got to fix this situation because it's never been what you would call ideal. And I'll tell you, this little project here, y'all, has took me a lot longer than you'll ever imagine because in the middle of starting all this, I went and looked for the doorknob. I couldn't find the doorknob and for some reason, I started messing with my truck. I ain't started it in like two months and the battery was dead. And for some reason, I was out there charging my battery in my... It, it, neither here or there it takes me forever to to get on task and i wonder if this is my wife finally telling me she's bringing me something to drink ma'am um thirsty well you guys it has been a rough couple of weeks and i am due for a good laugh and i know you guys are too and unfortunately it's gonna have to be at the expense of my wonderful husband he keeps texting me to bring him something to drink. He's vlogging up at the building, cleaning out his tool shed. I'm in here cleaning the house vlogging. Let me show you. You, not hot enough. You, definitely not hot enough. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. There you go. Ah! I got any audio files out there? Anybody? Somebody knows what these are. And my truck sounds good. Taps anyone? But they're buttless too. Okay, I drink some distortion. I'll be honest. Delivery service. You nearly got a coming to cup see of the disaster. You nearly. Listen. I'm gonna film it so we can do. It Don't talk about after. my disaster. It is a disaster. We'll not talk. It's Why is it red? It looks like I ain't done there. It's fruit punch. It looks like cranberry. Well, it knew fruit punch or cranberry ain't bad for you, so. Whatever. What's wrong? <laughs> what is it? Why is it spicy? <laughs> because it's Reaper. It's the Reaper. <laughs> you know, those have been sitting there so long I forgot about them. <laughs> well, is it hot? Oh, it tastes so I bad. I was due for a good laugh and you went and quit texting me to bring you something to drink. Did you really bring me something to drink? No. I guess I probably need to do that, don't I? Yes, I would like a, a <laughs> bottle of water, please, and thank you. A cold bottle. I was like, I don't care if it's cold or warm. Is it or, hot? It's just, I, no, it's not. It's just, it's spicy, but it's like, kind of like a blow a spicy chicken sandwich <laughs> from Wendy's, but it like, oh, it's the, the taste is not <laughs> ideal. Get you a big swallower there and you'll no, see. Here, I'll try a drink. Oh, you spit in it. It don't matter. You kiss me all the time anyway. Ew, you Sean. Oh, I see a floater in the bottom. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I can't because you spit in it. I cannot. Like, uh, what? I wouldn't hurt nobody. I wouldn't bother nobody up here. Minding my own. Now you see why I can't get nothing done. Now you see. Back to the task that it doesn't seem like I'm even getting anywhere with. 
I don't know, man. I really want to do this because, like last year, when the kids was eating the cucumbers we grew and the tomatoes we grew, you know, Chloe was out there just jerking them straight off the vine and eating them, and she was loving it. And, and to me, that was no greater satisfaction than seeing my little boy and my little girl just. I thought that was a rat. <laughs> just absolutely tear into some uh, fresh homegrown food. If you really, really think about it, like you know what's going into their bodies. You know what they're eating because you grew it. Yeah, big spider. You want a spider? This shed right here. We're not talking about this you know shed. Why we're he just... hides it up here? Because I couldn't handle it. What? In a house like that. This looks like the kid's bedroom. But I was just gonna tell you guys, I was sitting on the porch thinking about it, getting ready to order our farmer's almanac. But last year when we had, I don't know if y'all remember, some of you probably do, but I had so many jalapenos. I mean, way more than I ever would have needed for just us. But this year, what I've been looking into, and y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but everything that I've seen, bell peppers are just as easy as jalapenos and stuff. So I love bell peppers. Don't care what color they are, green is my favorite. But I am growing me some bell peppers this year too. Now, that's what I was gonna ask you guys, is about the onions and garlic. I need to look into the seasons on that too, because I remember seeing a video once, this person was putting garlic, I think in the ground in fall and covering it up with hay. I don't know, I, need, I, I will look into them, but I haven't yet, but just let me know on the onions and the garlic. Be better just to do it in the ground or will buckets be good? Have any of y'all done it in buckets? I don't know. I want to do potatoes too. This is going to be a good year for us, you guys. I have sat for the last couple of weeks going through emotions that I've never had to go through in my life before. And just my dad's spirit in general was always, it was just never give up. You know, he was always, he was such a selfless man. Him and my mom both are like that. But my dad was always a go-getter. He passed at 64 years old, but he, he was going to work until he was 70, had things worked out. That's what his goal was and what he wanted to do. And I know if he was have been physically able, he would have. This is going to be a good year. I'm praying for it. I'm claiming it. I'm putting it out there. This might be one of our biggest years yet. How do you say it? I am going to veto my dad's passing as being tragic and make it inspire me to get healthier, be better, do better for my family. So I'm excited. Well, bud, I know you uh, think more of your mom than you do your old dad. So just just seeing her pictures and I'll look at her phone every now and then to see what my grandkids look like. Thanks and I love you. Don't worry about old dad. Bye.